it is a process to complete a film, right? And so there are many versions and many iterations of the film that will build upon each other and that will take into account feedback over time. So this obviously is the first, the point of what I'm saying is that this is the first in several steps, in several versions of the film. So look at when you're, when you're completing the survey, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind that this is a first in, in, in several steps. And there are things in the film like maybe there's spaces between each scene, maybe the volume goes up and down. These are things that clearly are obvious, but clearly will be addressed um, as the different versions go forward. So when you're, when you're thinking about it, maybe not necessarily pay such close attention to those types of things, because those are very obvious things, and those are things that obviously are going to be addressed you know, in, in, in future versions, okay? So that's, that's the first thing to think about. Also, to give you a sense of where this project is at currently, where it has been, and where it is going, Jonathan, and this is a recommendation that I had given him a while back, and I'm really um, thankful that he took this recommendation into consideration. If you look on page two, you'll know that Jonathan has carefully listed the activities um, that have been completed already, the activities that are currently being conducted, and the activities that are going to be happening in the near future, as well as the next month. And this is really important because, again, it gets back to the initial point that I was making that this is a process, right? And we're engaged in a process of development of, of the film. So this really contextualizes where we're at and where we're going as a community around this film. Okay? And then also, if you look at the bottom part of the page, you'll notice that he's also put some information about the type of money that he's raised. That he has really put together a very thoughtful strategy on how to raise money for this film, when to raise money for this film, and then of course, what that money will be used and applied for. All right? And then finally, you'll notice that John is uh, more or less on track as far as his completion date. And the reason why I go over all of this is because I really want this to um, be a background for you and your understanding of where this film is and where it's going, how much work has been put into it, and also how much more there is to do. So now that you you're a little, have a little bit of a better orientation of, about this film, and also maybe that will help your thinking about how to comment, how to best assist Jonathan with your comments as you see where he is and how to best assist him moving forward. Okay, so that's why I took this few minutes to give you a little bit of, of background of, um, to help uh, guide your thinking when you provide feedback today. The other thing that I wanted to bring your attention to, you may notice if you look on pages three and pages four, you'll notice that there are um, five different response categories ranging from excellent to poor. You'll notice that unfortunately because of the formatting of the document, it, it gets cut off. So you may want to take the time because this question is actually very important in the sense that it provides your feedback per scene, right? For every scene, you get to sort of uh, rate the scene. So if you want to, and it would help me, I know that I would do it, um, I would take those response categories, excellent through poor, I'd turn the page and I'd write them there at the top, just so you can remember. I know it's kind of um, housekeeping stuff, but I just thought that might be helpful to you. Other than that, if you have any questions um, about the questions themselves, um, myself or Jonathan would be more than happy to assist you. I'm going to give you about uh, 15 more minutes to complete this. Again, it's, it's pretty extensive. And then we're going to have a question 